Let's do some skincare. Just did an everything shower. Now we're doing an, every, an everything nighttime skincare routine. Currently, this is my skin. Just wanting to get it super hydrated and plump and back and just resetting it as I just went on my long trip. I just got back from Tokyo. I will have a cute little vibey vlog for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Let's get right into the video. We need some serious TLC. I have some hot lemon water. Mm. Okay, so I just got back from Tokyo yesterday. You know, the flight from LA is not that bad, okay? It's like, it's 12 hours going there and then it was about 10 coming back. Kind of easy, you know, you just kind of knock out. I don't know, it flew by. I know it sounds like crazy. It's not, it flew by. However, you are in a plane for 12 hours. Your skin is drying up. I just felt gross. And then you're traveling and your sleep schedule's off and you're sweating because you're running around and you're, you know, you're venturing around. And I just feel like, my skin, my skin needs an everything nighttime skincare routine. I just took an everything shower. If you know, you know. If you wanna see what that entails, let me know. But let's get into, let's get into my everything skincare routine. Now I wanna make this as not overwhelming as possible. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things because I'm passionate about skincare and my skin. A lot of you guys asked me also in my last video what I'm filming on. I'm filming on the Sony Alpha 5100, my G7X Canon camera. It was the sixth one that I broke. I just can't bring myself to buy another one because I just bought that one this summer. So I'm using what I have, okay? So I don't wanna hear it. So the first thing we're gonna do, I wanna make sure I don't miss any steps here. First things first. I'm not wearing makeup. I did not wear makeup today. But when I do wear makeup at the end of my night, any night, this. This is my favorite cleansing oil I've ever used in my entire life. This is the One Love Botanical Enzyme Cleansing Oil. I will link it down below. This, this smells like papaya, mango. It's so good. It's clean. It's just, it cleanses everything off of my face. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I, I use other ones that are good. This is my favorite. If you're looking for a balm, the Elemis Balm, Unreal, probably the two best makeup removers I've ever used ever and the most gentle as well. That's step one, okay? Step two, we gotta wash our face. Key thing I have recently incorporated into my skincare when I'm washing my face in the shower or I really just need to like get my gunk off. I don't use this in the morning. I use it in the shower and I use it at night. This is a facial sponge. It doesn't hold any bacteria. It's a sea sponge. It's so cute. I've talked about it before on my TikTok and other things. And so what we do is we get it wet. I have a towel here. We're gonna use a cleanser. I switch up my cleansers all the time. It just depends on what I need. Since I'm really down bad and I really just wanna clean my skin, I'm gonna be using a lot of Tatcha. Tatcha is expensive. It actually hurts me as well when I purchase it. But I only, I find the things that I love and then I'll only talk about them here because I don't use the whole line for the most part. So this is amazing. This is the Deep Cleanse and it actually is made in Japan. Just where I was yesterday. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a little bit of your cleanser on the sponge, just a little bit. I'm gonna get my face damp because if you're in front of like a sink, you will already be getting your face damp. So I'm just gonna put this, hey, hey, even my neck, why not? I haven't done skincare on my neck either. Um, And then you're just gonna take this. And for those of you who have sensitive skin, a sea sponge is probably the best way you can exfoliate when you do wanna exfoliate with a gentle cleanser. It's such a gentle exfoliation. And I don't know, I just like really love it. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put the link down below. But this is just so nice. And it feels like you're exfoliating, but it also is like so, like I said, so gentle. And I'm gonna do a face mask. That's why I'm gonna do a gentle, more gentle exfoliation. You just wanna be buffing the skin. In even upward directions, just like buff. Even do my neck. You don't wanna be like scraping, you wanna be buffing. Really just like take like 10 seconds on your nose. I have a washcloth here. I'm just gonna dip this just like, and honestly, I wish this was a microfiber towel. It's more gentle on the skin. I'll actually, you know, I'm gonna order some after this video. So I'll, I'll link the ones that I'm gonna order down below. Sorry, my viewfinder's over here. So if I'm 
pivoting so I can see. Don't be alarmed. <sighs> I'm getting fresh again. So now the next step, we're just gonna jump right into it. Kind of right when I get, right when I get out of the shower, I spray my piercings. I have new piercings. I have this piercing and this piercing with saline. If you have any even irritated piercings, spraying it with saline is gonna help it so much. It's just like, I don't even know, but I just like to get in there, spray. Okay, don't spray it in your ear. Gosh, I am like not doing well here. And I just clean around it. Okay, one of my favorite parts, my facial steamer. I do this three or four times a week because it's so good for the vocal cords. I am a singer, I use my voice a lot. My vocal cords mean so much to me. <laughs> so if I can steam them and take care of my vocal cords, the steam can get in there. And then it also steams my face because we're gonna do a face mask. So Vanity Planet has a really cheap one. I use that when I'm at my dad's house in Michigan. And then this one I just keep here. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross facial steamer. Uh, so we're gonna just flick her on and we're gonna get some steam. I love steam. It's so, like, it feels so good. And what I like to do is open TikTok, guilty pleasure, or YouTube, and watch some, like, TikTok. Here's the steam. I kind of like keep my mouth open. I know it looks weird. And sometimes I'll hold it and I'll do some vocal warm ups or exercises. So there's one where I go, and then I'll just do that. And then we're just gonna watch TikTok. So I'll see you guys when this is done. This normally takes about like 10 minutes. I'm back, look how juicy my skin looks. <laughs> okay, serious. I'm doing two face masks. This is the Tatcha Clarifying Face Mask. I'm gonna put this in my T-zone. So we're just gonna put it where I need clarification. I'm just gonna go like this, like this. And like this. I normally love the Sunday Fridays. Summer Fridays. I always say Sunday Fridays because Sunday Riley and Summer Fridays. I normally use the Summer Fridays hydration jet mask. It's packed away in my skincare thing because I just got back. So I'm gonna use, this is the f Balm Water Facial Quenching Overnight Mask. I know it's for overnight. I'm just gonna use it for the next 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in all the areas that I didn't put this clarifying mask. Also, sometimes I use a glycolic like peel around like my eyes and maybe the center of my nose and where I get like where fine lines develop just to help prevent them. But I'm doing a lot today, so I don't wanna do too much. So I'm just gonna put the rest of the mask down my neck and then that that let this sit while it's sitting i'm gonna protect my lips with all the moisture they just took in so i'm using some aquaphor and now i'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes i shall be back it's been about 10 minutes <laughs> let's rinse off this face mask here's my towel here's my towel i'm just gonna go ahead and normally i would rinse this off in the sink but i'm also gonna take off the aquaphor off my lip and sometimes I'll be super extra and I'll turn back on another like steam session while I'm taking off face mask <laughs> but we won't do that so I'm just gonna wipe wipe and wipe make sure it's all off now I have this ice roller <sighs> I'm obsessed basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna take down any inflammation puffiness in the skin just kind of just I don't know like tightens up the face and since we just did steam, we brought all the blood and everything to the surface and opened everything up. And now this will just kind of seal it all up, if that makes sense. Run this. I run it along my jawline. And before I'm even like going out to like a dinner or like seeing, just wanting to look my best and my skin to look my best, I will like ice my face and I swear it just looks so good. I'll just do this until the ice is completely like melted down to the little thingy. Just love, love going underneath my eyes. It's melting so much. It's okay. Maybe even do some neck. So now that my face is all hydrated, I'm gonna go right ahead 
and put on either an essence or a toner. I'm gonna do an essence first. This is the Rode Glazing Milk. I'm just gonna do a little bit. And I don't do this every day. This is an everything nighttime skincare. This is when I'm really taking care and really just going in, okay? Then why not do a little bit of a toner? This is the Tatcha Texture Tonic. Has niacinamide, AHAs, calming Japanese mugwort extract. <laughs> Um, so basically this is just gonna, the niacinamide will help control oil, oily areas, which we technically don't really need because I'm gonna be like oiling up, but I'm just gonna do a little bit, just drop it in my hands. And I'm just gonna put it like around the nose, just where we need to like make sure we're cleaning up. Instead of doing a toner when I'm traveling, after I do all this, so instead of the toner and the essence, when I have a pimple or my skin is starting to get a little textured and gross, like more than just a little texture, maybe just like actual little pimples or a big pimple, I just never travel without this. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra Daily Peel Pad. These are amazing, absolutely incredible. I've used them for years. They abolish any pimple, Texture I have within one, two tops uses when I'm traveling, money, okay? I'm not gonna use this because I don't have crazy texture and you know, I'm good for now, but money, baby, money. We're still, we're still going. I'm gonna put a hydrating serum, Dream Oasis Hydrating Serum by Summer Fridays. It's a hyaluronic acid, which is something that is gonna set the tone to hydrate and just start sealing in all the hydration, okay? All of it. Put this on my hands too. Boom. We're getting through it, guys. We're getting through this. This I'm gonna do on my neck. I've been loving this. This is the Resveratrol Lift Serum. It smells so good. I'm gonna put this all over my neck and chest, my hands, and then we'll dot some on my face. Use a vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of my favorite things in the whole world, but I only use it once a day. So I'm gonna use it at night, vitamin C. I kind of like using it in the morning, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. It's like a, almost like an oil texture and I'm just gonna put it on my neck, my chest, and my hands. And then again, just blot it on my face. Okay, now for the goods, the ordinary. Retinol 0.5 percent in squalene, regular squalene. If you want to level up the hydration of a moisturizer, like let's say you only have one moisturizer for day and night. At night, if you wanna bump up your hydration, add squalene. This is literally $10. I can't travel without it. I can't be anywhere without it. I love this. Sometimes I will just, if I'm like desperate, use this only. Game, if you're getting anything in this whole thing, get this and the cleansing oil and the Dr. Dennis Gross pads if you have acne and the sponge and okay incredible this is incredible also a little bit of retinol I don't know how strong this is but adding in a little bit of retinol for helping with anti-aging is always a good idea also they have niacinamide really good if you have oily skin put this on your oily areas niacinamide is really good I like to use it before I do makeup to keep my oil down this is a soothing barrier support serum barrier support serum maybe this is good for like when you're traveling on a plane let's just add some to the mix just gotta support the barrier of the skin anything that is like peptide barrier or something like i'm i'm about it this is a multi-peptide serum we love peptides i kind of like using this stuff during the day so i'll like mix these a little bit what's nice is like this is just such an affordable brand so I get like a bunch and then I try it out and see just what like works best with my skin. You know what I mean? So with that, I have two moisturizers for night. These I've used for years. I love them. I was looking at all of my creams that I have right now. And for nighttime, my top nighttime ones are from Tatcha. I'll link both. Right now I have the Dewy Skin Cream. This is very, very, very dewy. So. I wouldn't wear it during the day. I have, and it makes you very, 
very oily, okay? Very greasy looking. If you like that look, go for this. Incredible, incredible moisturizer. The Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, a little bit more affordable, I believe. Incredible, literally insane on the skin. Like when I tell you I wake up in the morning and I can still feel some of the moisturizer on my skin. Like you never wake up and you can feel moisturizer on the skin, okay? Like at least I don't. So I'm just gonna spread this out. Do you guys, like, it's just like, I cannot get enough of this shit. Okay. What I would normally do underneath my thick nighttime cream is a retinol. This retinol is amazing, the Alpharet Overnight Cream. However, I'm doing something. I'm doing something not good. Basically, I have been tanning. I know, I know. I go once a week for 10 minutes just to maintain my summer glow. I got a summer glow. I know I look very pasty, but I got, I have a glow. I got a summer glow this summer and I, I just like cannot let it go. And you should not be using retinol. Now I do wear sunscreen on my face in the tanning bed. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm just not going to use retinol right now. Okay. This is a little red light micro needling situation. I have a little scar in between my nose that actually has been really healing a lot because I've been doing treatments and mixing with this. And I will go right here in between the brows like this, like this, and like this, maybe around my lines on my face. Like if, like this is where people get lines and then like any little scars I have, it just like kind of beats up the skin a little bit. I'm a big micro needling laser girl advocate. Like the wonders that it does to your skin is insane. So now that I did that a little bit, I'll take the Alpha Ret and I will take it in the areas where I just kind of damaged the skin. When I was using this religiously, like on an every night basis, every other night basis, is when I got the most compliments on my skin. So, you know, maybe I'll put some around my eyes. Here where my scar is around my nose. It makes your skin look so beautiful. With that, Wonder Wild Miracle Butter by Drunk Elephant. Any balm you can use, put it around your eyes or where you really exfoliated. I like my upper lip because I feel like this never gets attention. And then uh, you can even use Aquaphor. I'm taking this like buxom, powerful lip scrub. It's like all gritty. Just going like this and just really Aquaphor. Uh, we are absolutely not done yet. There is still more to do. I also have some Daily Sunless Tanning Serum by Soel something something organic. Works pretty well. It's not as even as my Clarins one. My Clarins one is my OG bestie, but I'm just gonna put this on my forehead, my cheeks, just like do it like this, do it like this, and then I'm gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna kind of buff it into the skin. Just maybe some of it down. I'm doing the most, honestly. I'm doing the absolute most. This is an everything nighttime skincare routine. Whatever. I'm gonna do something gross. This is a Panasonic, why could I not read that? Nose hair trimmer. Yeah, I'm going there, taking you guys there. I'm just gonna go right along the edges of my nose. I'm more so just like get the outside. Let's do the eyebrows. So what I'll do is I'll take Aquaphor and I'll put it in my brow because this will kind of help me eyeball what needs to be trimmed because it just like stands up the hairs. So I just do this. What the frick is in my hair? And then I just cut. Honestly, you don't have to do this. I've just been like lazy and not going to my brow people and just trimming brows on my own. Just like to make sure there's no one like crazy. Okay, now I'm just gonna pluck the hairs. I know this is like so boring to film. So sorry about that. I actually have one of those like thin razors to really get like the hairs up here, but I'm too lazy to grab it right now. Brows are looking clean. So you guys, this is a process. I have Lash Boost. This is the Rodin Fields. I actually put this on my brows in like the bald spots. So like I have some like down here that I just want to fill in. And I know it just makes the hair you have like grow longer, but it also like thickens it a bit. So I just like run this on my brows. We're almost done fam. Now that we got our skincare right, feeling good. I also do this before I get into bed. This is the Witch Hazel, just Witch Hazel. I put it on a pad 
And basically this like kills bacteria, it soothes, it moisturizes, and it cleanses. It just like helps like neutralize smells. And I'll just wipe my armpits with it. So that way like when I wake up in the morning, damn girl, wake up in the morning, I just like have my armpits like nice and clean. This is also really good to have next to your toilet. After you use the bathroom, you can put this on your, how do I say this? I'm getting really personal, but it's like a little baby wipe for your, not your lady parts or your parts, but your other back. It makes things neutralized, smell nice, cleans extra. You can also get the witch hazel wipes. I will link them down below. I travel with them. Okay. We're getting personal. It's okay. I take some vitamin C body serum and I just squirt it on my chest and my neck. I can do a full body breakdown if anyone cares. Maybe no one does, just let me know. Call me crazy, but I like to hop into bed smelling good. I just feel like when I smell good, going to bed, especially out after an everything shower and an everything nighttime skincare routine, smelling delicious, okay? So these are the two that I have been making me smell divine. This is the Supple Skin Oil. I'm gonna take this oil. Mm, I don't even know. It's like vanilla. I'll put the notes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put it all over my neck and the chest, by my ears, and my arms. And I'll mix it with this Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. It smells like cake. Put this all over my neck. Hey, my arms. I need to smell so. Okay. Okay. A few last things. Obviously brush your teeth. This is an everyday. Of course, Moon toothbrush. I want to talk about this. This is not sponsored. Wish it was, but Moon toothbrush. I think for the Black Friday, yes, for the Black Friday sale last year, their toothbrushes were the electric ones were like 55 bucks and I got all my friends one and my uncle and my cousin. I literally got everyone an electric toothbrush. I think electric toothbrushes are the most fun, amazing gifts, and it's so good for your teeth, your gums, like all of it. So I'll link below. And then my tried and true Tom's anti-plaque whitening toothpaste. This is fluoride free. I have always been fluoride free. There's a lot of research as to why fluoride is not the vibe. Definitely do your own research. If you love fluoride and that's what you wanna do, good for you. This is my journey and I encourage you, this is just a little encouragement to research maybe why you shouldn't be using fluoride. I don't do it when I go to the dentist. I don't use it in my toothpaste. When I was a kid growing up, we weren't allowed to have fluoride. Read about it, check it out. I will leave that there, <laughs> okay. And then last but not least, what I do when I do an everything shower and everything nighttime skincare routine. Okay. This is also a TMI, but I do boric acid suppositories, a suppository. It maintains normal levels of yeast for healthy vaginal, vaginal environments. So you basically just pop one up there at night, maybe wear a little panty liner in your undies. And it basically just like after traveling and everything, it just kind of cleans everything out, maintains like the health of it. I think when I'm traveling and I'm just whatever, everything's fine, but you just want to. And you don't want to use these for like a period of time, like if you are getting frisky. This is for you to just up there for 24 hours, let it do its thing. They're amazing clean, it's great. This is my everything evening skincare routine. I feel good. I think my skin feels good. I feel good. I smell good. I'm ready. I'm ready to curl up and relax. My skin feels so hydrated. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna put on my little PJs. I have this big gray hoodie that I got. Someone bought me in Tokyo while I was there. Super cute girls. I'm gonna put this on and get cozy. Let me know if you guys like this video and thank you always for loving me and supporting me and being my best friends I could ever ask for. Okay, good night. <sighs>